For IDPs and refugees alike, the primary worry remains insecurity, continued fighting, suicide attacks, reprisal attacks against some communities, the presidents of mines and unexploded ordnance in the regions of Mopdi, Gao and Timbuktu are all cited as reasons to delay returning. However, the absence of services uh, in the north is very clearly also a factor. Few schools are functioning there. Government authorities are still absent in many towns and cities, and many displaced families <laughs> prefer simply to wait. And I would also just want to refer you quickly. For those outside Mali, an additional complication is the ethnic makeup, as a majority of the refugees are Tuareg or Arab. Fear of reprisal attacks is widespread as is fear of criminality or that jihadists might remain present in the community. Yes, While new refugee numbers are substantially down on their numbers of a few weeks ago, Mali is nonetheless continuing to see a net refugee outflow, albeit a modest one. During February, average arrivals in Mauritania were over 1,500 people a week. Refugee numbers in Burkina and Niger are static. 11 o'clock Central European time. For those of you who are interested